Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Media Team Appreciation and Awards Ceremony. Now, before we begin the ceremony, would you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? Assembly salute. Assembly pledge to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Now, I would like to welcome Zia to the podium. Thank you, Patrick. Certainly, you have come a long way. Although it feels like we started our journey yesterday, for sure we have gone through a lot. You have all the right to be proud, so give yourself a round of applause. It is true, we have accomplished quite a few things, whether we are behind the camera, in front of a screen, or maybe in the crowd. You did your work diligently and as best you could. We can spend the day talking about everything that we have accomplished together as a team, but the purpose of this gathering is for us to be humble, and to look deeper into ourselves and find appreciation for one another. This ceremony is to celebrate you, us, as the media team. For the remainder of the ceremony, we ask that you pay attention and to cheer for our accomplishments. Please welcome Mr. Asinos to the podium. Dear all, from day one I call you to lead and to serve without asking anything in return. There have been many times in which I felt uh, I had reflected on this, asking myself whether or not it was fair to you. After seeing the amount of time and effort that you put into our team and to our school. Believe it or not, at times I felt guilty for not saying thank you loud enough or with something tangible like a snack or a certificate. The fact is that I was asking for something that I practice as an adult, to do things without asking anything in return, to be humble, without knowing how, mo how you will take it. And yet, many of you reassured me that a smile, a pat on the shoulder, or a thumbs up from the distance was more than enough to feel appreciated. You made me understand that being humble is a characteristic of a great leader. And that's the kind of leader I see and would like for you to be. You impress me each time you cover an event, making me proud. And for that, I say thank you. Today, everyone here and everyone on the team and those who are present, our special guest, um, Mr. Vasilo back, back there, will receive a certificate of appreciation from the media team. For that, I would like uh, the assistant of Candia to come forward. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Racinos. In spirit of humbleness, we can say that each of us can make up the meaning of everything that surrounds us. It can be a moment, a person, or a thing. We create or give value or see its worth based on our own interpretation and experience. Looking for a way to show appreciation for your time and, your ta and for your talent that you contributed to the media team and to our school, the certificate of appreciation is presented to you with gratitude. It is a little something that we hope that give you that we hope to give you. Sorry, we hope that you give the value that it deserves. Please come up and receive this certification. This certificate of appreciation. Thank you. Amanda Johnson. Amelia Larkin. Amin, ooh, Aminata Dien. I don't want to um, put your name. Nata? She here? 
Andres Martinez. Anna Todd. Ariba Tasmin. Arpan Singh. Arun White. Ashley Hermanstein. Brian Kelly. Chloe Jade Brown. Claudia Rappa. Derek Latuma. Ella Chen. Emily R Ramagora. Farhan Karim. Hania Raham. Imran Khan. Isaiah Joseph Jones, Sorry. John Anamantharu, John Magmapon, John Valandia. Jonathan Val Valdez, Candia Petrie, <laughs> Malkit Kaur, Matthew De La Cruz, Makai Bratton. Michelle Pelosi. Oh, my bad. Nelson Tung. Nicholas Dockery. Owen Smythe, Patrick Fitzgerald, Paul Patch Jr., Sanaya Aniani, Sorsha Healy. Shariah Habib. Sophia Ross. Stella Maxine. Tamia Green. Tanzio Raham, Titan Vision, Zachary Finkelstein, Zia Bino.
And we have a couple honorary certificates of appreciation. Miss Kimberly Newman. You. You're welcome. Miss <laughs> Christina Quintana. Miss Janet Racinos. Our principal, Miss Michelle Smythe. And that's it. Thank you. And Mr. Fusillo. <laughs> Thank you. All right, everyone uh, received the certificate of appreciation. Those who weren't here will get it somehow before they go out for readings week. For now, we're going to put them on the side. Yes, sir. I hope everyone feel appreciated with a thumbs up, with a smile, a pat on the back, also with a certificate. After reflecting on how to best acknowledge the work that each of you have put to this team and trying to find another way to recognize outstanding contribution to this team, I came up with five different special awards. Please don't take me wrong. I value everything that you have done for this school. But if we humble ourselves and see what others have done, we can say that we are true leaders. I would like to begin with the first special award, and this is for the leadership. This tiny little bit, tiny little pin is to recognize our standing media leadership team from this school year for stepping up to lead a sub team to take on multiple tasks and to delegate them to their members. Aside from being responsible for their team, they were also responsible for different equipment, for training new me their members, for communicating clearly among other teams, for coordinating tasks, and for making sure that things got done. They volunteer a lot of their time to come to media leadership team meetings, to develop different tasks, to brainstorm ideas, among, among other responsibilities. In the end, if it weren't for them, we would, we would not have a student media leadership team. So thank you. <clears throat> Arriva. Casey. Once again, this is for this school year leadership team. Thank you. Mikai. Thank you. Owen. Thank you. Patrick. I want to see on your graduation cap, okay? Or gown. Uh, Sharara. Thank you. See ya. Thank you. Once again, that is a 23, so 2023-24 uh, leadership team. Uh, some of you have stepped up in the middle of the way. Uh, thank you. I will appreciate you in a different way. The next award, gold coin. This excellence in service pin is, re is to recognize key team members. Everyone in this team was called to serve. And although everyone served, 
it is important to mention that these team players getting this award were always available to take any task, even, even when they were not on the specific team. They took the time to learn, to adapt, and do. They serve humbly and without hesitation. I have made a mistake, I believe. My list is not accurate. All right. Again, my list is not accurate right now, but I have a backup. So as a teacher, you have to sometimes improvise, right? And although you plan everything as best as you can, sometimes you will find that it's not the case. However, my document was not printed out, but I would like to recognize the following students according to my list right now. Um, these three students, they are not officially part of the media team but they are part of the media elective. And I, I do have, I believe they got already, I'm not sure, a certificate to appreciate their work in their elective as an honorary team member. I would like to call uh, Dario, Olofisayo, and Tish. Okay, so now I'm looking at the very small screen. Um, Tenzio. Amanda. Thank you. Okay, one second guys, I uh, will find a way to do this quickly. Um, Uh, sure, that would be better. One second, I'm just trying to uh, sort my sheet without deleting anything on the spot. Okay, much better. Okay, Arpan, Chloe, Jocelyn, John A, Zachary, Ashley, and Matthew. Sharara, Tamia, Zia, and Brian. Kandia, Sanaya, Titan, Casey, and Buja. Alana, Malkit, Patrick, Miguel, Owen, Imran. Nelson, Mackay, Needy, Ella, Arriva, Derek.
Stella, Hanya, John V, Emily, John M, Sorche, Claudia, and Anna. After thinking about um, how this was done, it felt like I was the priest giving Holy Communion. Um, all right, that was the service, um, Excellence in Service Award. The next award is a hardworking award, and this is a trophy. This trophy is to recognize team members that went above and beyond to serve the school community. Their dedication and hard work uh, hard work and attitude made the team grow and provide great results to the public. They took initiative to find solutions to problems, even when they were not assigned to, and, uh, even though they were not assigned this task. They did not ask if they if help was needed. They saw that help was needed and they jumped right away, without any hesitation. These are these in, are individuals that you often see behind the screens, behind the scenes, behind the cameras, behind the lights working the logistics of things so everything can run smoothly. Let me sort my sheet again before I make any mistakes. Actually, the trophy have names. Uh, John M. Uh, Derek. Chloe. Derek. Chloe. Please come up right away, guys. Thank you. Derek. Titan. Jocelyn. Sorry. Thank you. Emily. Anya. Yes, Amanda, Matthew, and Claudia. Owen, Anna, Makai. Riva, Candia, and Sharara. Casey, John B, Patrick F, Sirsha. Dario, Pisayo, Olu Pisayo, and Tish. And Mr. Posillo. Again, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Something happened to the AC. It's not working. Or it's, uh, <laughs> usually it's cold in here. Uh, but I've been targeted today to sweat, all right? Because usually I'm not in front of the cameras. Okay, this will take a little, a little while. So, thank you for your patience. Again, everyone in here is an MVP. However, it is important to highlight and recognize at large these following outstanding leaders. Mikai is passionate about music and is very knowledgeable on how to put a show together. He is humble and very quiet at times, that at times he goes unnoticed. He has set high standards for, for the work that he does in the studio and in the theater. He has grown a lot and has developed different leadership skills, allowing him to train new members that meet his high expectations, that are committed, humble, and ready to learn. To my love, to my knowledge, during his residency, he was the only student that knew the ins and outs of the, com of the complicated sound and lighting system in the theater, and here as well. Thanks to that, we are able to enjoy multiple theater productions and performances with excellent audiovisuals. So, Mikai, one of the MVPs, come forward.
The next MVP is Patrick. He's there. Uh, he's passionate about everything that has do. <clears throat> he's passionate about everything that ha has to do with the mini department. During his residency, he spent numerous hours streaming home games, going out to the field so those sports can be recognized, covering the sports report for the event preview segment, filling in as videographer and photographer for bar various after-school events. Something that stands out about Patrick is his res resiliency and determination. He was on the hot, hot seat several times receiving hard feedback about mistakes that he needed to improve. He was doubted and criticized for the way he is and for the way that he works. And although he was at the edge of being terminated from the team, he didn't give up. He worked diligently to improve himself and to improve various parts of the streaming team. His work is uh, in streaming and his passion for media is evident. I must say that he has grown a lot as a person that is able to manage or grow his uh, emotional intelligence. He has developed different skills that will help him keep aiming high. Thank you, Patrick, for the share your talent with us. Come forward. Thank you, Patrick. It's now in the script, but um, last week when I, when I started to clean up uh, my closet, my, the drawers and everything, I found large amount of papers with writings and everything. That's what I mean, hot seat. Um, and now that I see him growing and going to college for, uh, as a media me meteorologist, it, is that it, it really warms my heart and I'm very proud of you, Patrick. The next MVP for this year is Zia. She demonstrated strong leadership skills while le leading the video production team. She led the team with calmness, which I admire and I really want that, <laughs> and with high standards. Her communication to the team was cl uh, clear and firm while serving as advisor to the media director. Her opinion was unbiased and provided clarity to the situations. Her work with the theater tech team was also stellar. She contributed numerous hours behind the scenes in preparation for our assemblies, assemblies and for our theater productions. Her leadership traits are leading her to be the, the leader of the entire team for the next school year. I personally look forward to the amazing contribution she is bringing to the table. Zia, thank you. The next MVP is Claudia. <laughs> Claudia is very involved with the team, uh, with the media team and her media elective class. As a member of the theater and studio tech, live streaming and video production sub teams, she has contributed number of hours to serve our school community. Whether it was in school or after school, she always she was always available to help out on the important roles in recording, streaming and or lighting. Her involvement and knowledge in various sub-teams made her a candidate to lead a team. She remained humble and decided to serve as a member to be available where, where, where most needed. Undoubtedly, her leadership skills are present. I appreciate her hum humbleness, dedication, talent, and the hard work she puts in, in, in for us as a team. Thank you. Uh, Claudia. The next two uh, MVPs are maybe your teacher, advisor, your coach, or someone that is um, correcting your behavior while I'm not watching. Okay, Miss Newman and Miss Quintana. Ms. Newman and Ms. Quintana are, hardest work, are the hardest working duo that I have witnessed before, during and after school for the past few years. They are heavily involved in school to provide the most valuable experience to all of their students, at and or athletes. 
This year I have seen Miss Newman out and about with different type of trips for her classes and her and for her clubs. Miss Quintana, as a teacher and coach, not only pushes her student athletes to excel their potentials, but also inspires me to keep going. Like when you were cheering me at the World Wantaton. <laughs> the uh, school spirit of Miss Newman and Miss Quintana is priceless. They are usually the ones sending me media content to feed our Instagram account. An interesting fact about this is that they are usually not in the picture. This is to allow the, um, their students to be the spotlighted and shine for them. We work closely together and do share similar ideas when it comes to leading our students. To me, it is important to acknowledge their contribution because le leaders like them keep the school moving forward. Ms. Newman and Ms. Quintana, thank you very much for your service. Okay. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. <laughs> okay. The next special award. Um, the co-founders of the media team always saw Mrs. Racinos as an extension of my leadership in this school. Although she is fully focused on teaching our students the art of Spanish language, she is the one holding my back when I face tough times in what I do. She is the one that listens to the ideas and the plans that I have for this team. She is also the one that puts everything on the side when I have to do media work at home. And the one that hears my complaints and frustrations about you guys, <laughs> about work, about life, about everything, I can say that everything that I have accomplished with this team is thanks to her support. Although you do not see her in our meetings, she's always there in spirit. So thank you, Mrs. Rosina, for listening, for your guidance, for your inspiration, for your encouragement, for being there, and most importantly, for being part of this journey. So this is, a uh, you know the meaning, right? Okay, it's a heart, you know. <laughs> Thank you. We have a goat in the house. <laughs> this award is self-explanatory and is dedicated to Miss Smith, Miss Miss Smythe. She is the GOAT in, uh, of this team. She has been a huge support for this department, especially for uh, uh, allocating funds to upgrade our production systems, to, pur uh, to purchase different media equipment, and so much more. I am personally thankful for her, uh, for her, to her, for giving me the opportunity to lead, to think beyond $250. For those who that don't know, we as teachers are limited to $250 to anything that we have to purchase. So she gave me the purchasing powers of thousands of dollars to make sure everything is running here. For trusting me, my team, and my work. I have to say that my job is not easy and that I hold a lot of responsibilities, but knowing that our craft is supported and trusted, it has allowed us to keep growing our team, our productions, our reach, and our quality of work. For this and many more, Ms. Smythe is known as the greatest of all time, our GOAT. Thank you. And here's the box in case you want to give me. Okay, so we're going to just maybe. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much, everyone. And again, thank you to everyone that is here and for everything that you do. I definitely don't need the box because this is staying on display. Thank you so much. I definitely would not have referred to myself as the goat of this team, but I'll take it. I know if I, I walk around with dollar signs, but there really is a lot, a lot more to the support for this program and the reasons for the support of this program and why it's so special. This media studio and media program is very special to me because it is 
comes from my own experience when I was in middle school. So some of you might have already heard the story. I can't see you, Alana, because the lights are bright. Is she still back there? Or did she did she slip out? I know I told her several times that I was the host of a television program that was actually recorded in the television studio in my middle school when I was growing up. Um, so the experience of being able to be part of TV production, part of a team like this, um, it was incredible to have the responsibility of such expensive equipment, right? And an actual TV show that was aired. Um, was it weekly? Was it weekly? Aired weekly. Um, it was absolutely an amazing, amazing experience. And honestly, when I think of middle school, I rarely think of even being in the classroom because it felt like I kind of lived in the studio. But what that gave to me, how close we became as a team, how close we became, how close we got with our teachers, it really helped shape the person that I became. Um, it helped to make my decision to become an educator and to have a program like this here, um, at Scholars Academy now as the principal is just amazing. But it is thanks to the people who laid that foundation, the people who gave me that experience, the gift of that experience. So it was a last minute invitation, but I have one more award today because my studio teacher is here with us today. So I do wanna present him as an honorary Seawolf staff member. This is Mr. Howie Steinhardt. Please give him a big round of applause. And I will, I'm going to say the year, the Cal Canine is going to say the year, because he brought in my yearbook from junior high school from 1991. So we're going way back in time. This was, it was very, very similar. Of course, it wasn't this digital, but they laid the groundwork and the experience that I had there was just unforgettable. And I wanted you to be able to see your legacy because I'm, I'm working. I might be just the money behind it now, <laughs> but it is definitely something we, we're going to keep going, and you helped make this happen. So I'm just going to read this. An honor, honorary Seawolf staff member, in honor of your years as an outstanding educator, your passion and commitment for teaching was an inspiration. Your legacy lives on. Thank you. I'm up high, so I'm going to keep it that way. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm just going to say one thing. Yeah. By all means, we She's will. good. <laughs> we knew we had talents way back when. And I do have a VHS of me hosting with Dane Burke back in the day. I'm going to work on getting that. Um, someone in here has homework to help me get it from a VHS so that I can share it all with you, as embarrassing as that will be. Um, but I just, I'm going to close it out, but without closing it out and I'm trying not to be emotional because this is such an exciting day. I spent my day yesterday at the girls softball championship game. I don't know how many of you were able to make it. Um, and unfortunately we weren't able to live stream. It was so far away. Maybe Patrick would have been there. I'm sure if he hadn't just come back from Disney. Um, <laughs> but I'm definitely I have the sports theme going and I was happy to see that Mr. Racinos had the sports theme as, as well with the awards and I can't say enough, Mr. Racinos, you are a one-man show and what you have created in this television studio, um, the media leadership team, the TV production, from the website design to the lighting and sound upgrades, um, you never say no, you never shy away. I have learned, and I'm sure Mrs. Racinos hears it <laughs> when you get home, but I've learned to read your face. You'll get that little smile with the teeth like, okay, <laughs> but you make it all happen. And I can't tell you how blown away I am with how much you provided. Not just that you get it all done, but you created this leadership team, this <laughs> You created this structure where the students not only have a voice, but the students get to be leaders. And I hope you as students feel that. The, the experience you get here, the, when you take on these responsibilities, Makai, Patrick, Zia, Claudia, Anna, I, I see you, Fasayo, all of you. The, when you take this on as leaders, you are preparing yourself to be, whether it's meteorologist, whether it's doctor, whether it's engineer, you're taking this role on. It is preparing you for your future. And I hope that it gives you the memories that I had when you go back, how many years now? <laughs> Was it this many years, right? 
I hope that you recognize the opportunity you're being you're being given. And I will say to you, you get out of it what you put in. And those of you sitting here, you're being celebrated because you recognize that and you're putting that time in. You're putting that effort in. Keep it up because it is paying off for you now and in the future. So it's not about the thank yous. These are really nice. And Mr. Racinos, you are amazing at that, at always stopping to say thank you. Thank you for doing that. But you really get so much out of this. Thank you for what you do bring to our school for contributing. But keep it up, those of you who are saying. And sea wolves who are leaving us, please come back and visit. And please continue to bring this spirit, the spirit of leadership, the spirit of contribution, of service to the schools where you choose to attend. Um, but I do have to close out this ceremony by giving one more certificate to the person that made it all happen. When I took over as principal, I'm going into my fifth year. I've started my fifth year, which is crazy to imagine. Um, took over March, 2020. A week later, there was a global pandemic and the school shut down and we had to figure out how to go on with school um, virtually. And going back to then, and continuing to now, I don't know how I would do it without the support of Mr. Racinos. Mr. Racinos, you are the MVP, and I do have an MVP certificate for you in recognition of your outstanding participation and teamwork. Thank you for all that you do. And that's it. Give one more big round of applause. Thank you so much, everyone. And I think we'll see you, a lot of you, seventh period, right, for lunch? Thank you.